YouTube, Big Daddy here. It's time for another food review, and it's time for a live stream. Today, we are checking out Little Caesar's new Quattro Pizza. I picked it up from the pizza portal, and uh, it's going to be good. I've been waiting to try this for a while now. Uh, I am also testing out my new uh, Logitech uh, live stream camera, my new, <clears throat> well, uh, not new microphone, microphone I've had for a while, and I'm also testing out, what's up, Twisted Weather? And I'm testing out a new live stream uh, software called StreamYard. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to work out. Uh, you'll see the little Powered by StreamYard in the right-hand corner. I'm using the free version just as a test. We'll see how it goes. But, uh, yes, Pizza Portal. Oh, yeah. Little Caesars Pizza Portal. And we're checking out all new Quattro Pizza. You guys got to see this. It looks fantastic. You got the cheese, pepperoni, the pepperoni and sausage. Uh, and where is the – oh, this must be the bruschetta up here. Yeah, it looks good. Smells good too. So I just – and I got Bear here with me. I got the day off today. So Bear and I are just hanging out. This is so cool. What's up, East Wope? Twisted Weather, Joe T, Marco Sturjevic, two Aussie. Welcome. Ozzy, you uh, you uh, checking in from Australia? That's pretty cool. I love being international. <laughs> this is fun. I'm having fun with this new software. Check this out. Watch. There's my Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> There's my Facebook. Ooh. I feel so professional now. If you, if you guys post any, share this at all. Definitely use the Big Daddy's World and hashtag stuff it in your pie hole. And then if I hide it, it goes back to my regular one. Got the comments here. Chris Creel, what's up? Somerville, South Carolina. How's the weather there? So now that we got some people on the line, I'm just going to snag myself a piece. I think we're going to start easy. We're going to start with the basic Little Caesars cheese. Typical Jesse Cook, what's up? What's up? Mm. Little Caesars pizza is one of those things. It's like, for me personally, I think it's one of the most maligned um, uh, fast food pizzas. I think it's better than Domino's, but not as good as Jets. Um, and they're... Regular hand tossed pizza is still pretty good. Mm. I like the sauce on here. It's got a nice acidity to it. It's not too sweet. Bear's over here watching me. <laughs> He's like, what do you got? He tried the pepperoni. We have it in Oz now. Nice. This is so cool. I can show everybody's comments. Check this out. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. I love this. This is such a neat software. The pro, the pro version allows me to put, like, my logo and all sorts of stuff on it. I may do that in the future once we're starting making a few bucks. But $20 a month is kind of a kind of pricey. Snack King Cole in the house. What's up? This is live, buddy. This is lunch for me. I've been up since 530. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hmm. Jesse you getting a hurricane. Yeah, be careful. You guys are in Florida. Hunker down, leave the state. 
Find a place to hide. I, you know, up here in Chicago, all we get is tornadoes. You know what's cool about this software, too, is I could even invite another YouTuber, set something up ahead of time, invite another YouTuber to come and, and do like a side-by-side -side kind of thing. It's really cool. And it runs all through Google Chrome. I'm running this on an i5 with a with a sixty dollar HD camera and a blue a blue microphone. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> Find a place to hide with your pizza. Exactly. Okay, so we're gonna pull out. I think this is the pepperoni part. So cool. You can get this quattro pizza for a party if you got like or picky kids. You got some kids who like cheese, some kids who want pepperoni, or you want just to have a selection for everybody it's pretty nice hmm hmm little caesars a step up <laughs> to Gino's. yeah hide from tornadoes but just drive the opposite way you know uh twisted weather i would say it's probably good to hide from tornadoes but you don't want to drive the opposite way because they could come back you should drive like in a uh, like let's say you're you're going north and south, you want to drive east or west. Just totally get out of the line. It's probably the safest way, I would think. Find a basement. This is so cool. It's great to be able to see everybody's comments. Before I was doing all these live streams on my phone, and they would just. I haven't hit the BK yet. Um, I'm going to BK tomorrow. Uh, well, tomorrow or, or uh, Sunday to do the new Caesar chicken sandwich. I got a big collab coming. It's going to be live on Monday with uh, one, one very, very big YouTuber and uh, another uh, medium YouTuber. <laughs> uh, so they invited me in on the on the collab. I'm very excited about it. It's going to be fun. They're both awesome dudes. Mmm, pepperoni is good. That's cool. I'll have to check it out. Everybody, go check out Snack King Cole's. Um, I don't know. Design R Us. Uh oh, I posted. Well, maybe you. <laughs> yeah, you have to go faster than a tornado. That's for sure. Design RS. You never know. You never know. Anything's possible. I, I appreciate it. Appreciate it, Jesse. Yeah, everybody, go see Snack King Cole's Little Caesar review. Little Caesar. It's a uh, not Little Caesar. Burger King. See, I'm assuming it's the Caesar chicken, right? Uh, Snack King. I also got this. Little Caesar butter stuff. So I figured I'd give that a try. Oh, it just leaked out. Got to be careful with that butter stuff. It'll go all over. The mystery guest is at work today, so she probably won't be on the live stream today. She's got a new job, so she's got to be good. You did the grilled snack, King? All right. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be trying out the crispy. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna dip this pepperoni in the butter. Yeah, that's good. Hmm. See, that's how you do it. You get the pizza down to the crust, and then you dip the crust in the garlic butter. So healthy. <laughs> What's up, Bear? Kit and Ivy, what's up? How goes it? I like your little logo. It's cool. I can see everybody's logo now, too. There you go. That's when he's putting out he's putting out his uh his video. Go check out Snack King Co. 1230 on the West Coast. I like that. I love this. I'm so excited. 
This is so much cooler than doing it on the phone. I'm going to have to pay the 20 bucks a month. It's so cool. What's up, Kim? How goes it? All right, that's <laughs> We're trying out the Little Caesars Quattro Pizza. I've had the cheese, I've had the pepperoni. I think we're going to do the pepperoni and sausage. Supposedly, Little Caesars has a new variety of sausage. Um, this might be. No, actually, this is the bruschetta one. It is pepperoni, sausage, and bruschetta. Supposedly, they have a new variety of sausage for this pizza. So, pizza's good, Kim. Pizza's really good. Mmm. It's little seizures. It's not it's not the best in in Chicago, but it's good for fast food pizza. And for this cost me seven bucks for a large pizza. That's pretty awesome. Let's see. Seven bucks. Seven bucks. And I went to the pizza portal, put in my code. I didn't have to talk to anybody. <laughs> if you're antisocial, little seizures has got your back. <laughs> uh let's see let's see if i if i figure out i've had three slices one two three four five eight slices eight slices on the large hand tossed pizza now um i don't know if you guys ever watched the endorsement he's got a video um He's, the endorsement's got – pardon me, I'm stuffing my face. He's got two videos. One is doing the pizza like I'm doing. Another one, he went to the same Little Caesars, and he had them do their little pan lunch size deep dish, and he had to make it quattro. And that sounds interesting, too. You can get that for five bucks, four squares. Nobody likes talking to people, Jody. Nobody. <laughs> okay, I like talking to people. I talk to everybody. Um, I would say, let's put it this way, Snack to Go. Being in Chicago, I'm a bit of a pizza snob. So when it comes to pizza, we kind of know our stuff, but it's like, there's a deep, there's different varieties. There's deep dish, there's Detroit style, there's regular hand toss, fast food frozen. So it's all over the place. Uh, Lou Malnati's is my favorite pizza bar, bar none, as far as a local chain. And then there's a place in Romeoville, Illinois called Fat Ricky's. It's the local, my local favorite for deep, for deep dish, like really <clears throat> deep dish. Yes, he can be very persuasive. <laughs> That's the endorsement. Oh, man. This is so cool. So what are you guys up to today? Anything fun? Are you working? Are you got the day off? Oh, yeah. There. Yeah, that's our, our like, our uh, bottle of water. We've got water here that is a part. It's a well system, but it's not like our personal well. It's like the city well. So... Mm -hmm. The water is a while back. The water was considered um, safe to drink, but not ideal to drink, <laughs> and it doesn't have a great flavor. So we do that. We get bottled water. Yeah, it's not the best. Nope, my collab is not with Number Six with cheese. Not at all. Those guys are awesome, but not with them. Maybe another day. I, I did one collab with them already. 
it'd be cool to go hang out with those guys in the city. I don't know if I'd fit in their car, though. <laughs> That's a bad thing. I'd have to go eat with them like at a restaurant or in their apartment or something. Do I like the weather? Well, right now the weather's great. It's not too hot. It's kind of cool, breezy. But I like I like sitting outside when there's storms, too. It's kind of fun. I used to do that a lot when I was younger. Number six with cheese. <laughs> they were just talking about you. Were your ears ringing? That's cool. <laughs> they asked me if I was collabing with you on Monday. I said, no, I'm not. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? That's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, they were asking me, because I said I have a collab coming out Monday with a big YouTuber and a medium YouTuber, both cool dudes who invited me to do it, and they asked me if it was you guys. That's awesome. Thanks for stopping in, guys. That's so cool. What are you guys reviewing today? I was saying how I, I we just filmed an episode, we got the Quatch review coming out on Tuesday. Yep. I'm stuffing it in my face right now. Let's see. We've done we've done the the bruschetta. We did the cheese. We did the pepperoni. So now it's just the pepperoni and sausage. They kind of they kind of half and half it on this one. Check this out. <laughs> I just dropped sausage all over my computer. <laughs> yes, we should. That'd be cool. Yeah, I don't think I'd fit in your car. <laughs> I'd be in there going, yeah, I'm, I'm having a great time. <laughs> well, definitely shoot me a, a text or an email, and we'll uh, we'll set something up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. I'm so happy you guys showed up. That's so fun. So, yeah, they gave me a half and half piece on this deal. That's weird. Half cheese. Mmm. Mmm. All right. You got it. I got your back, Snack. So, now I'm like flabbergasted. <laughs> what do you guys, uh, what are you guys up to today? Anybody, anybody doing anything fun? Oh. I wanted to do this last night. I wanted to do a hangout last night, but I was testing out this new live stream system. And, uh. I wasn't so sure it was going to work. I think this is for you guys. Number six. I, I am 45 minutes away. They are very close. I know they've gone to it a few times. Maybe we can, we can do something there. <laughs> You're at work, Jesse. You bad girl, you. Yeah, I think I'm about 45 minutes from the city. I live out in Joliet, so. That was cool. Yeah, like I said, Snag, I'm about 45 minutes away. And uh, I wonder if there's a way to set this up so all the all the comments show up. I have to kind of keep clicking when they show up. Maybe they don't have it on purpose in case someone sends something out like an F-bomb or something. <laughs> yeah, that might be bad. Never mind. Forget I said it. This is so cool. How's the camera? Does the camera look okay? Because this is like a HD 1080p 
Logitech C920. I looked it up online, got really good reviews, but uh, it's my first time using it. This pizza is pretty good for $7 pizza. Mm. So, before I forget, very clean, no lag. Awesome. Well, you know what helps that? Yesterday, we upgraded our internet here from uh, 60 megabits a second over to two, 250 megabits a second. So that helps a lot too. <laughs> that I was like, I was like, we got to go with something a little faster. So, because I want to do more live streams. So, this is very helpful. Um, before I forget, on the Little Caesars Quattro, Jesse, have a good day. Get back to work. Don't get in trouble. On the Quattro Pizza, I'm going to give this Little Caesars Quattro Pizza, uh, I think I'm going to give it a good nine out of 10. It's good. It's not great. Um, you know, it's Little Caesars, so it's decent pizza. Um, I think I would probably prefer the deep dish better, but we'll try that next time. Mm. I'm just going to hang out here for a little while. I got to go pick up Riley from school in about an hour, but I don't think I'll be here this long. But. Yeah, the internet's pretty good. It's 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 good now that we did it. You're right. You're right, Chris. Deep dish is always better. You know, I, I don't want to spend extra money. Seven bucks. I wanted, to, in all honesty, I wanted to review the pizza that they advertise. You know, so I could get it be somewhat official about it. You know, because we're professionals here. Hmm. <laughs> There, stop bugging. <clears throat> do, 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 do. do a little shameless plugging. Oh, by the way, speaking of shameless plugging, here, hold on, let me let me find that. Hmm. I should have had it ready before. I was gonna put my my merch store up. We'll do it later. Yeah, it's definitely is a good deal, Twisted. Definitely. Seven bucks is cheap for any large pizza. It's crazy. Switch account. I'm trying to find my one of my videos so I can go and get that link. Sorry if I'm being antisocial. September 12th, Taco Bell is taking items off the menu. Let's see. What are they taking off the menu? I know they're bringing the uh, in Milwaukee. I saw the big, uh, what's what's the guy's name? Uh, the guy who does Big Bite, Big Bite. You know, um, what's his name? They're doing the uh, trip. He did the triple lupa. I wonder if they're bringing that out na nationwide. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they do. Well, actually, I'm not sure they do. Really, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I haven't really looked at the ingredients. I'm not really sure. It makes sense. You know, it would be a little cheaper that way, I'm sure. But <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Taco Bell. We're removing all tacos. You can no longer buy tacos at Taco Bell. They're getting rid of the double decker and the grillers. That's a bummer. I like the grillers. Those are cool. I like the grillers. That ranch, uh, Reaper ranch sauce is pretty good. I like that. I'm loving this. I'm dipping the garlic. Dip it. Dip it. Mm. 
buttery and garlicky. I love garlic. Little secret for you guys. I haven't really talked about it much. Sorry, I'm eating and spitting. It's gross. Um, I don't know if I've if my appearance has changed at all because it's still early in the game. But I have been working on a new weight loss program. I started last Monday. <clears throat> I'm down 11 pounds. So it's working. Here's the part. Here's the great part, okay? I get to eat whatever I want. However, I only eat whatever I want every other day. So it's called alternate... Uh, Alternate day fasting. Instead of intermittent fasting where you fast for a certain period of time each day and then you eat for a certain period of time, it's alternate day fasting where you fast for an entire day. Now, it's modified alternate day fasting, so it's like 500 calories for that fasting day. Um, and then the other days when you're not fasting every other day, it's you eat whatever you want. So it's kind of cool because I get to – do the food reviews, and still lose weight. Pretty sweet. Let's see. Second, Jack in the Box got some new items coming out. We don't have any Jack in the Boxes here. Not at all. Fast Food Pit Stops. That's the guy. He does the big bike guy. He did the Triple Lupa. He lives in Milwaukee, and uh, I guess they have one up there. He went in on – yeah, he, he, was, uh, he did a review with uh, – with Dane, and he did. I'd like to go. And he did. A, he did a review with uh, Number Six with Cheese. He did a couple reviews with them last uh, last week or the week before last too. Pretty sweet. Yeah, Dane drops is another guy that uh, that'd be cool to get in a re review with him. But I, you know, I don't know him. You know, I commented on his videos from time to time. Uh, he's he's kind of the reason I started doing this. Him and Joey, you know, why I got into this because I saw those guys doing. I thought I can do that. That'd be cool. I like to eat. Well, all right, let's see if I can find it. All right, get my, go into the KFC mac and cheese video and look at the details here. I know that that's in there. Unfortunately, until you get to a certain size, you don't get. All right. There it is. Sorry, I'm 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 being uh, man. It doesn't work well when you're using your fingers <laughs> to all right. There we go. I, the more foodies I watch, the less, you know, I watch, here's the only thing I, 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 the only thing criticism I would have about him is, is he tends to get a little crazy. <laughs> it's a little too crazy for me. Sometimes him and, you know, like, like I know what I, it's, it sounds kind of ironic. Cause I like, I like to watch Joey's videos and he gets kind of crazy too, but I can ignore that only cause I know what to expect, but I never know what, what Dane what he's gonna do. You know, sometimes he says some things that I don't even understand what he's talking about. <laughs> yes, this is true. With twisted weather, losing weight and being able to eat whatever you want is nice. Here's the thing: on the days I fast, yeah, it kind of it's 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 it. There are you know, in the morning I'll have a banana, and in the afternoon I'll have like a uh, maybe like a, a very very small amount of like almonds or something. And then at dinner time, I'll have like a salad or uh, some cauliflower rice. And, and that's what I eat for the day, for the fasting days. Then the next day, I eat whatever I want. And I don't care. I don't count calories. I don't count fat, nothing. I, I don't limit carbs. I just eat whatever I need because the deficit from the first day counteracts, you know, so it, I still end up losing a pound or two, which is great. So you can't... <laughs> Yeah, I, I I I can watch Joey's video. Sometimes Joey's kind of funny. He he, uh, he has a very subtle sense of humor. Sometimes, where it's just like, all of a sudden he'll cut. 
it'll catch me off guard and I'll just start cracking up. You know who else is kind of funny? That uh, the the daily the review bra guy. He's a very dry sense of humor. If you like dry sense of humor, he's got a very dry one too. I, I, I you know, and he was doing a thing about uh, I forgot what it was. The one one of the food things, and it was like the, the end of an era, and he, it brought back oh it was the the triple crunch wrap. He was very sarcastic about it. It was pretty funny. Johnny Mac, what's up? Good to uh, I hit the wrong button. Good to see you. Hmm. Sorry, Peter J. Good seeing you. I'm sorry. I was right in the middle of pulling up a a, a URL for my merch. Trying to be a capitalist. <laughs> Trying to be a capitalist. Ugh. Thanks, Designs Are Us. I appreciate it. At times, you were right. Number six with cheese is hilarious. Those guys are those guys have such great chemistry together. You know, here's the thing that goes into my head. I think about I think about their videos. I mean, they're two dudes, right? So I don't think they live together. I'm assuming they live near each other. I always wonder, like, do they have like a schedule that they set up where they okay on these days we're gonna meet up and eat something and we'll talk about it. Or, I mean, logistically, I always wonder, like, how does that work? How's that dynamic work? <laughs> You're still here. <laughs> uh, it's talking about, I was talking behind your back in front of you. <laughs> I was wondering how that works. How do you guys hook up, you know? Two miles, two miles apart and crazy plan schedule. Exactly. I figured. <laughs> I was going, how do they do that? Because it's like, for me, I have to like just figure out a time when I go to lunch to eat something and talk about it in the car on my lunch break. And and, and I know you guys are doing it full time now. So I'm sure that, uh, that made it a lot easier to, to set things up schedule wise. It's pretty cool, right? Isn't this, isn't this neat? This is such a fun live stream thing. I love it. I feel like a, it's very professional, you know, except for the little freebie powered by StreamYard icon in the right hand corner. I'm, I'm, I'm giving them promotion though. They, those guys are, this is great. I'll, I'll promote them. They're, they're fun. And by the way, this is, I'm not getting any money for this. <laughs> they're allowing me to do this on their, on their software for free. So that's their promotion. Hmm. This is cool. Epic Epic Food is that a Twisted Weather? Is that a channel? Epic Food Review. The live stream world is great, and we love the food review community. Everyone is really loyal and loves the stuff, and we're pumped to meet you soon. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool, guys. I I, I would love to hang out with you guys. That'd be fun. You two, me, two young dudes and an old dude will hang out. I just can't fit in the back of your car. It ain't going to happen. Although that would make good comedy. That would be fun. I once got in the, I once got in the front seat of a little uh, Mini Cooper once with another guy who was like 300 pounds and, and another guy was like 250. That was pretty funny. It was like a clown car. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. This is fun. Well... <clears throat> 
this is totally cool. What time is it? One o'clock. I'm going to have to definitely uh, keep using this software. This is the coolest. I saw uh, it's a new guy I just subscribed to. Uh, Everything Spicy. I don't know if you guys ever watched his, his YouTube channel. It's called Everything Spicy. We'll put that up there. I saw spice tea. That's great. I know how to type. <laughs> Stupid. But I saw them. I saw him and somebody else um, do a live stream where it was like a side-by-side -side deal. And that was really cool. I don't know, if, uh, number six, I don't know if you guys were on when uh, when – I was talking about it, but this software, you can do like a side-by-side -side live stream thing. So this might be cool for collabs too, where instead of doing like the, the shout out thing, you could just do a collab live stream instead. Um, this is really neat. I'm enjoying this. Maybe, maybe they'll, maybe they'll help me out with some, with some free pro version or something. McDonald's has brought back the spicy barbecue tenders. That's uh, I didn't. Did they have those before? I didn't. I didn't know they had those before. Yeah, Wendy's brought back the spicy nuggets. Yeah, uh, it's called Streamyard. I, I, they were doing it. They were doing a side by side. Uh, I saw their their live stream. It just happened to click in on it, and I noticed there was two people. And I was like, "How are you guys doing that?" And they had all these banners and stuff. And I was like, "This is cool." And they told me StreamYard, the only thing to use for live streams. I'm like, all right, I'll check it out. Very cool. Now the pro version is like 20 bucks a month, you know. So some gangsta beefs in the food. What gangsta beefs? No. What's up, Dave Ski? Good to see you. Yeah, there's some there's some drama going on right now between several YouTubers. I'm not going to feed into it and mention names. I just know a couple. It's just kind of weird. Like for me, this is just fun. You know, this is like a fun hobby slash money making opportunity chance to eat food and have fun. And that's all it is. It's pretty cool, you know, but, you know, some people take take this very seriously and they get a little hot. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Man. So anybody got any plans this weekend? I don't know. There's no good movies out, although I did see I did see a trailer for a new Terminator movie, which looks kind of interesting. It's. Got Linda Evans back in it. All like a lot of the old cast back. I don't know how many iterations of that movie they can do. You got that right. Nobody owes you a dime. No one owes you nothing in life. <laughs> I tell it to my kids all the time. I said, do your best. Work as hard as you can. Nobody owes you anything. You know, you just take try to get what you can. Uh, is that the Joker with uh, what's that guy's name? The guy who played Johnny Cash. Oh, I can't think of his name. It's, it's hell getting old. I tell you. I know. In my head, I'm going. It's on the tip of my tongue. He grew the weird beard. Went on David Letterman. What's his name? Uh, it looks cool though. It, it, yeah, River, uh, not River Phoenix. Uh, Jack, yeah, Joaquin Phoenix. That's it. Yes, that's it. I still, to this day, I think no one's played the Joker quite like Heath Ledger did. I mean, 
Jack Nicholson's Joker was great too in the original Batman movie. Um, totally drastically different, but still just as epic. Uh, I'm interested to see how uh, Joaquin Phoenix plays the role. Oh, I don't know. I don't have, I, I try not to have any beefs unless they're Italian beefs. That's that's the only beefs I like. <laughs> Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Twitter. If you guys want to chat me up on either one of those, that's cool. You know. Do 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 do. Final trailer. Oh, for the for that Joker movie was released. That's cool. This is so cool. I'm trying to see, like it doesn't say on here. Oh, there it goes. Forty one minutes. Okay. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can change colors on the theme. I can't add a logo because it uh, asked me for. Um, let's see, I can do a. I don't think I can do a logo. Yeah, it's you got to upgrade to do a logo. Yeah, I've heard that before. I've heard that. YouTube. Here's the thing about YouTube. You got to remember YouTube has um, final say on a lot of things, subscriber counts, uh, video view counts. And what they'll do is they will go in and find uh, anybody who buys subscribers, anybody who has ghost subscribers. And a lot of people do that shady stuff. They do. If they see that you're doing uh, sub for sub uh, and you're like spamming sub for sub stuff, they'll take that. They'll, 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 Drop your account down for that too. I don't do I don't do sub for sub. You know, I people who've come to my channel and said, "Hey, check out my channel." I'll go check out their channel if I think I like their content, or and I want to watch it, and I want to see it in my feed. Then I'll subscribe to it. You know, but I don't just say, "Hey, you know, I'll, if you sub me, I'll sub you," because that's just counterproductive. You'd think it would be good because you're getting your count up, but then they just they go away or they don't watch, they don't respond. So what's the What's the point? Nick, I'm glad you asked. I am definitely a Lou Malnati's guy. My coworker at work is a Giordano's guy. I am a Lou Malnati's guy. Always have been, always will be. Used to like Geno's East as the, the, before I found out about Lou's. And Lou's, is, and, Lou's and Geno's are related. A lot of the old school pizza places in, in the area kind of all came from the same group of people back in the day when they first started. I worked the weekend. Uh, what did you say? I worked the week. I worked this weekend off Sunday, so they asked me, did I want Monday off or coming for time and a half? They must know, not know, food ain't cheap. <laughs> yeah, food's not cheap. See it release stress, but it doesn't because you, you can see your exact subscribers and analytics. It doesn't relieve stress at all. <laughs> relieve nothing. Uh, all right. Good question. Um, I don't come into the city as often as I should. You'd think living 45 minutes away, I'd be there a lot more. But I'm a typical suburbanite and I don't get to the city as often as I should. That being said, I probably come in to the city maybe three, four times a year. When we go there, lots of times we'll hit up uh, some uh, either pizza place. Uh, there's a There was a place down on Michigan Avenue. I forgot what it's called. It's related to Cheesecake Factory. I can't remember the name of it. Um, we'd go there for once in a while. Sometimes we'll go there for a show or a sporting event, like go see the Cubs play, um, stuff like that. Um, I don't get there to eat as often as I should. It's just, 
you know, with work schedule and everything else and kids, it's just not going to the cities and more of a major production coming from Joliet than it, than it, you would think it is, but it, it just is. <laughs> but I, I would love to go hang out at Wrigleyville, go see some uh, places down there. If you guys have suggestions, you know, you have a place you want to hit up, I'm in. That that taco place you went, that was insane. That place was cool. Uh, and I know you guys have done a couple of videos on that place where they have the taco window. That that place was cool with the big giant thing. That was awesome. Let's see. Oh, we got a new guy. Inspiration Vlog TV. Hello. Hello, hello. Let's see. Nick. Some St. Louis Giordano sausage. Then lose cheese butter. That's interesting how people like certain things about certain pizzas. I like the crust on Lou's better than 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 uh, a lot of other pizzas. Cheesecake Factory, home with a $90 lunch. You got it, man. That place is crazy. Yes, that zombie taco place. Isn't that like it's in, like in a hotel or something? You go there and you can get like tacos and things. Yeah, exactly. It, it's just... <laughs> you know, I like, here's the funny thing about Chicago. Okay. I like going to the city when I'm there. I love being in the city. It's just the getting there, the driving traffic, the logistical part of it. I don't like, uh, the Moxie hotel. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. That was a, that was an interesting video. I, I had no clue. That's a, uh, here's the funny. Every time I watch uh, number six for cheese videos. I always learn something about some new part of the city. It's very cool. Taco Bell Hotel. Yes. <laughs> Good question. Yeah. Taco Bell Hotels. I did hear about that. You know, they that when they first opened the Taco Bell Hotel, I read an article that said they sold out of rooms uh, for the first like month or something in like 15 minutes. It was insane because everybody just wanted to see what staying at the Taco Bell Hotel was all about. Pretty cool. I'm keeping an eye on the clock because I got to go get my daughter sometime in the near future. I don't want to be late. Mm. Oh, man. Yeah, how about the Cubs? Cubs have won the last, won the last three games. I don't know if you guys are Cubs fans, Sox fans, or other sporting fans. All right, Denver, let's see. We had a Shoney's, which is a buffet-style restaurant. You know what? All right, so Shoney's, I don't know if it's the same in all places, but in Chicago back in the day, we had a restaurant that was owned by Walgreens called Wags. And then Wags was bought out by Shoney's, and they opened a bunch of restaurants or they took over a bunch of WAGS restaurants. I used to wait tables at WAGS when I was like a teenager. Um, and um, they had like the buffet, the breakfast buffet. And it was kind of cool, you know, but they didn't make it. Most of those buffet places, for some reason, they they fail. You know, I think it's just a waste of food. I, I, I just don't think they can handle the food. Um. There's a place, there used to be a place around here called Sweet Tomatoes, which was a salad bar place, which had like soups and chilies and little bread pizzas and stuff. That place was awesome. I would go there today if they had one, if they reopened it, but it closed for some reason. I just don't think they they can handle the waste. They, they spend too much money on food. They don't get enough people, people in to pay for it, I guess. I don't know. Oh. Thank you very much. You know what? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something. Please don't take offense, but Cincinnati Reds. They were killed. They killed. They were they were bastards this year. <laughs> they had our number. We could not beat them. Yeah, they got some. Uh, they got some uh, buffets in the casinos here too, which are usually pretty successful. Uh, they have a captive audience. You know, people don't want to leave the boat to 
you want to keep winning or losing or get their money back. But man, talking while eating pizza is probably not not the most uh, sanitary thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Cincinnati Reds killed us this year. E Swope, they killed us. Hmm. Uh, no, that is incorrect. I am a Bears fan. I'm a huge Bears fan. What are you saying? <laughs> Can't beat anybody else. Yeah, they can just beat the Cubs. That, that's the thing that killed me. They, they were not that... Great of a team otherwise, but when the Cubs came to town, they were like world beaters. It was unbelievable. No, uh, Snack King Cole, I am, I'm a huge Bears fan. I'm a Bears, Bulls, and Cubs fan. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Chicago sports fan. I like the, the – don't get me wrong. I, 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 I will root for the White Sox as long as they're not playing the Cubs. Um, <laughs> other than that, I, yeah, I don't have a problem with them. I just don't really care that much. And the Blackhawks, too, it's like – Hockey is it was never something I watched as a kid, so I never got into it. You know, I know there's a lot of avid Blackhawks fans in the city too. Let's see here. What did you say? There's a spot called Feast, which is a dope buffet. I got three kids and wife, but the bill was 97 bucks. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's pricey. But you don't you don't do that all the time. Once in a while. He's a Denver sports fan. Are we are we playing the Broncos week two? That's cool. Yeah, I, I, all I'm focused on right now is the Packers. <laughs> well, my sub count last was. Twenty-one sixty, last I checked. So, you know, it goes up and down. You know, sometimes you get people that leave. They, they just, for some reason, they subbed, and then they said, "I don't want to watch this anymore." You know, you know, I, 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 I'll, I've unsubscribed from some people's channels myself, who I don't watch that much anymore. You know, um, or people who post really annoying content. You know. Just stuff that it, it's not my thing, you know, especially complaining a lot. What's up, Mike? Just sitting here eating some Little Caesars, Quattro pizza, I'm hanging out. I got the day off from work. I got a new camera. Got some cool Biffy StreamYard live stream software I can post cool little banners like that I got a fly in my house which is annoying me mm. Shameless plug. Fortnite. Are you seeing twisted weather? Are you seeing Fortnite is annoying content? <laughs> a lot of people like to watch that. I don't get the whole um, in kids enjoying to watch people play video games, unless unless the commentary is in entertain like in entertaining. Then I don't mind. Yeah, it is now. She said, "Yeah, it is now because it's it's old. It's been it's been done." Um, have I ever done a food challenge? Yeah, I mean, I don't do 
I, you know, I'm a big guy. I like to eat, but I don't like to eat fast, and it because it just hurts my stomach. And I don't like to eat like over stuff most of the time. I did that biscuit challenge for 2000. I did the Sam's Club challenge uh, just for the heck of it because somebody asked me to do it. Um, I did. Uh, um, hold on. You did. You do Minecraft uh, videos? Yeah, yeah, because. I think Minecraft was old for a while, and then it made a comeback when uh, PewDiePie started doing it again. At least that's what I think. I don't know. Either that or they came out with a new upgraded version. I'm not sure. 16 years, just won three. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The, the, the kid, he won 16, or he won uh, three million bucks, and his, his second runner-up won like a hundred, uh, like I'm almost a million. That's pretty sweet. It's a, that's a nice paycheck if you can get it. Oh, you just play Minecraft now. Yeah, my kids play Minecraft. It's I the only thing I like to do in Minecraft is I like to build tunnels. I just think it's kind of fun to 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 be able to dig and build a tunnel and come up into someone's house. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um but back to food challenges. Um I like um once in a while I'll do one. Like I did the noodle, the spicy noodle challenge. I did the Sam's Club challenge. I did uh, the bis biscuit challenge. That's crazy. Fifth place won 800 grand. Wow. Um, I, somebody said when I hit 3,000 subs, I should do a Crave case because I seem to be doing this 10%. Like when I hit 1,000, I gave away 10 bucks. When I did uh, 2,000, I ate 20, tried to eat 20 biscuits. So now at 3,000, I should try to eat 30 White Castles. You know, maybe I'll I'll do that and have uh, and go sleep in a hotel for the day so I don't kill everybody in the house. <laughs> Let's see, Elon Musk stuck in traffic, so he dug a tunnel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's pretty funny. Who, who's Randy? Is he like a food challenge guy or? Maybe maybe I don't watch him because I don't know who you're talking about. I have a friend named Randy, but he's not on YouTube or Facebook or anything. He's like anti-social media. <laughs> it's very into secrets. Bear, are you into social media? Bear, are you into social media? Are you? No? All right. Bear's not into social media. That's the other cool thing about having this camera. I have it on a, a tripod. So if I want to, I can move it around and I can show stuff to people. I don't have to worry about moving the laptop at all. All right. Well, it's been about an hour. I think I'm going to cut it at an hour. I got to get some stuff done before I go pick up Riley at school. So it was good hanging out with you guys. I really... Really appreciate you watching, commenting, and uh, don't forget, you can see me on Facebook and Instagram, <laughs> and if you comment or share, use those hashtags so I'll see it. <clears throat> Bye, Twisted Weather. I appreciate it. Uh, he does food challenges. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, he did this one in Seattle, uh, maybe do with Outlaw. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Outlaw ch chats me up every once in a while. I did a couple of food food uh, collabs with him. So we are out. I'm going to take hit the road. Snack, good talking to you. Everybody else, good talking to you. Number six with cheese. I don't know if you guys are still here, but thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. So cool. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and tap the notifier bell. Share it with your friends and everybody, and that's a, what did I give it? An 8 out of 10 on the uh, Little Caesars Quattro Pizza. So that's pretty much it. We'll see you next time.